Jamie makes the long journey from King's Landing north to Winterfell. After hitching his horse near the castle, he removes the hood of his cloak to look around and sees a young man in a wheelchair staring at him, placid and emotionless, but with a knowing glare. It only takes a moment for him to realize it is Bran Stark, whom he has not seen since he threw him from the tower window. Jamie stares back in shock. He is taken to Daenerys, where he reveals to everyone present that Cersei was lying about sending her army to assist against the dead. After Brienne vouches for him, he is spared and allowed to fight in the Great War. He later apologizes to Bran who doesn't hold any anger towards him. During a drinking game before fighting the undead, Jaime knights Brienne after she insists that a woman can't be knighted. Jaime assists the Stark and Targaryen forces in fending off the Whites during the Battle of Winterfell. Jaime and other survivors are forced to retreat into Winterfell, before the dead are exterminated due to the death of the Night King. After the living are victorious, he celebrates along with others and has an intimate moment with Brienne. Bronn, who has been sent by Cersei to kill both her brothers is reluctant as he thinks Daenerys still has a good chance of winning. He tells them that he's been promised Riverrun as a reward. Tyrion in return promises him Highgarden in exchange for sparing their lives, though Jaime protests that he is a cutthroat. Bronn in turn reminds him his own ancestors were cutthroats and agrees to spare them in exchange for being made the Lord of Highgarden after the war. Learning of the Iron Fleet ambushing the Targaryen fleet later, he is horrified of what fate awaits Cersei if she loses and decides to head back despite Brienne begging him not to. Jaime's plan to sneak into King's Landing fails after being discovered by the besieging forces, though Tyrion helps him escape so he can convince Cersei to have her forces surrender and flee to Pentos for the sake of their baby. Disguised as a refugee, he is able to slip into the city. He is forced to fight Euron while sneaking into the Red Keep and is able to slay him, though being gravely wounded in the fight. Jaime finds Cersei in the war room and convinces her to come with him, but they are trapped in the cellars of the Red Keep due to the debris, a result of Drogon's destruction of the city. With no way of escape, Jamie accepts his fate and embraces his distraught sister, who is begging Jamie to find a way to save her and their unborn child. Jamie, however, states nothing else matters except them, and they hug each other while the tunnel collapses. The Lannister twins are killed by the falling debris. When combing through the ruins of the Red Keep, Tyrion finds his brother's golden hand buried under a pile of rubble. Clearing away the rubble, Tyrion uncovers the bodies of both Cersei and Jaime, discovering that both have died in each other's arms. Brienne then completes his entry in the Book of Brothers, recording all his honorable deeds and building his legacy, writing that he died protecting his queen. Quote, 